We're following the latest developments on an explosive wildfire in California. The zero, the blue cut fire is 0% contained. It's torched over 30,000 acres. More than 82,000 people have had to evacuate. When you look at homes and businesses, many have been demolished, some still in the fire's destructive path. And now there's a state of emergency declared for areas east of Los Angeles. Jasmine Veal of our CBS station in Los Angeles joins me by phone. She's in Phelan, California. Jasmine, what's the latest? Well, Rena, we are here in just one of the mountain communities in the San Bernardino National Forest. As you mentioned, we're about 60 miles east of Los Angeles in just these very rugged mountain ridges, a lot of that dry brush, but also timber, and everything burns differently. So these firefighters are not only up against dry brush in the desert, but the pine trees that will burn hot and fast, and that's what they're concerned about today with the winds coming back and the heat and all the dryness that will be an issue once again. Now, I am standing here in just a wasteland of homes that have burned to the ground, nothing but ash left, still smoldering at this point, right off Highway 138. And as you mentioned, 30,000 acres, but still growing at this point with about 1,300 firefighters here fighting both on the ground and from the air. Jasmine, this fire just started yesterday. It's been destructive in such a short amount of time. Why? Because it moved so fast, and that was the issue yesterday, they could not get a handle on it quick enough because not only, as I mentioned, the dry brush, but the winds, they were very erratic. Pushed it right across the 15, a lot of the highways here, and it just dumped and firefighters for their safety, and hopefully the people who got out, they, could, they couldn't go in and protect the homes, the structures here, because it was just too dangerous with how fast these flames were moving. And how is Southern California's weather going to be a factor in containing this fire? Oh, this is uh, the bad part of it all, and firefighters are bracing for this not only today, but we have red flag conditions all the way through Thursday. And so that's going to be a big uh, problem spot for them as they look ahead as they try to get this thing under control. As you mentioned, no containment. And I also want to say, as we're out here and we're looking at just the, the destruction, devastation, cadaver dogs are also on their way out. So hopefully they do not find any bodies. But in the, in the rubble here, in the ash, that's what they'll be searching for. Jasmine Veal on the front lines of this wildfire. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you.